I am joined in the studio by two ladies. We have Marianne Hartman, and we also have Amy Kuchenberger. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Now, Marianne, typically you're wearing a different hat yes, for the St. Mary's Food Pantry. Today you're wearing your Cornfield Hall hat. Cornfield Hall hat, yes. And it's very decorative. Thank Nicely you very done. Much. <laughs> So, tell us about Cornfield Hall. Well, it has been around since 1926. It's located in Fly Creek, New York. Uh, The exact address is 655 County Highway 26. It's about a mile south of the Four Corners in Fly Creek on Route 26. All right, so we've probably driven by it many 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 times. times. Of course. The purpose of this fundraiser is to provide funds in order to renovate the hall as best we can. And I would be quick to say that the whole purpose or the whole founding of this organization came about because um, both Amy and I are second and third generation Slovenian Americans. So our parents emigrated various times throughout history Mm -hmm. and settled in Otsego County. And so as did many other Slovenian families because frankly the topography reminded them of their home country, Ah, Slovenia. Interesting. So where does Cornfield Hall fit in with all of this? (laughs) Well, after it was constructed, it turned out that the property closest to the road did not belong to them, but belonged to a farmer who put corn in there. So that's how they got the nickname Cornfield Hall. So that's what it's been known as all these years. What is it used for today? We have several events, one of them being this antique appraisal event, which is happening June 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we will be having several local antique experts come. We've opened it up to the public. We invite everyone, both antique enthusiasts and collectors alike. So we just would like to encourage the public just to stop by and if you have an item of antiquity or a family heirloom or maybe something you just found in a yard sale and you're not sure sure. what it is or if it has history or has value of any kind stop by and one of our appraisers can help you it's a five dollar fee per item is there a limit on the number of items you can bring no all right limit Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. $5 $5 for each appraisal. All right. I always get fascinated with Antiques Roadshow on TV. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some of the stuff they come across. We're just very local. It would be neat if people bring in things that are tied to the local area. So we'll have to wait and see what pops up at this. Interestingly, this area is well known for hops. And one of our appraisers, Al Bullard from Milford, will be appraising a lot of things, furniture, tools. But his specialty is any kind of hops equipment, any old farming equipment that you have. But we have other appraisers. We have Becky Davidson from Cooperstown. She will be appraising estate jewelry, costume jewelry, something that maybe somebody inherited Mm -hmm. isn't sure the value. Brian McMurray from Schuyler Lake, he actually is professional appraiser and he appraises just about anything. We have the Rigby's from Cooperstown. Bill Rigby appraises tin trains, any kind of, you have an antique train set and you want to bring the engine or a car, the caboose or the whole thing. He would love to see that. Also, he does antique hardware from old homes and he also does a lot of tin toys. His wife, Janet, does appraise any kind of textiles costumes, old costumes. I know I was talking to somebody the other day and they had some military uniform from a relative and they weren't sure and so they will be bringing that. I think Janet will also be talking to people about how to restore and hold their that's piece fa- of clothing. Yeah, that's Because a lot great. of people don't know what to do with it and of course sure. clothing can disintegrate. So get in on this 10 to 2 this coming Saturday at Cornfield Hall. 655 County Highway 26, just outside of Fly Creek. Proceeds, of course, will benefit Cornfield Hall Society Building Fund. If anybody wants to find out more information, what's the best number to call? Sure, you can call me at 607-547-8055 or can call Dave LaDuke at 607-435-2405. Wonderful opportunity. Good. Thank you. Also need to mention that lunch will be available for purchase the entire time, so and it will be delicious, we assure you. There, if you get hungry, it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's there. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.